Pakistaki's Lutia. Hello plant lovers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting care guide for a unique and beautiful plant the Pakistakis, also known as the shrimp plant or lollipop plant. The plant belongs to the Acanthaceae family and is native to South America. Its requirements are as follows light moderate humidity dot moist temperature between 28 to 34 degrees Celsius soil a well draining mixture of sand and peat, slightly acidic. The shrimp plant is a perennial, evergreen shrub from the Acanthaceae acanthus family, native to South America from El Salvador to Peru. This plant thrives in tropical and subtropical regions. Due to its beautiful flowers, it is highly popular as an ornamental plant. The golden shrimp plant is used both as an indoor and outdoor plant. However, in temperate non-tropical regions, if cultivated outdoors, you will have to choose between the following two options. One, protecting the plant from cold and keeping it alive during the cold seasons. Two, not protecting the plant and treating it as an annual. Due to its flower appearance, this plant is also known as golden shrimp, Pakistaki's lutea, and lollipop plant. Characteristics Introduction The shrimp plant is a perennial shrub that is always green, reaching a height of 1 meter and spreading 45 to 75 centimeters wide. It takes 5 to 10 years for this plant to reach its full growth. The branches of this plant are sturdy, and its leaves are lance-shaped and dark green. The flowers appear in spring and summer, and they are very beautiful and striking. Its inflorescence consists of golden yellow bracts that enclose the white tubular flowers. When grown in a pot, this plant will have a smaller size. It is worth mentioning that usually for maintaining its proportion and beauty, the plant is intentionally pruned regularly and timely to keep it short. The care instructions for the shrimp plant are as follows. Light, partial to full sunlight. It's best to avoid placing this plant in direct sunlight. Humidity. Average room humidity. Regular misting improves the plant's condition and is recommended. Watering. Avoid overwatering and allow the top soil of the pot to dry slightly before watering again. In colder seasons, reduce watering if growth slows down and increase watering frequency as the plant begins to grow. Soil. The suitable soil mix for this plant is a well draining combination of sand and peat with slightly acidic pH. Fertilizer. During the growing season, feed the plant with a high potassium and high phosphorus chemical fertilizer every two weeks. Additional tips. This plant is sensitive to cold temperatures, and if the temperature drops to around 15 to 16 degrees Celsius, its leaves will begin to fall off. Failure to protect it from the cold will result in the plant's death. To maintain its beauty and enhance flowering, regular pruning and the use of bloom-boosting fertilizers rich in potassium and phosphorus are necessary. However, keep in mind that excessive pruning, although it may increase the number of flowers, will delay the flowering time since the flowers emerge on new growth. If provided with sufficient light and the required warmth, this plant will flower throughout the year otherwise, it will only flower during the warmer seasons. Propagation of Pakistakis. Softwood and semi-hardwood cuttings in summer. Cut the cuttings to approximately 10 centimeters in length and to increase the chances of success, use rooting hormone. Pests. While this plant doesn't have serious pests when grown outdoors, when kept indoors, it may be susceptible to pests such as spider mites, mealybugs, white flies, fungus gnats, aphids, scale insects, and more. Thank you for joining us today for this Pakistaki's Care Guide. By following these tips you can enjoy a healthy and vibrant shrimp plant in your home or garden. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more plant care tips. Happy gardening.